In today's episode, we'll create an animal design. We'll paint a tiger, but in a more stylized version. Hi, my name is Connie, and this is a channel dedicated to the art of nail styling. Today, we'll be creating a graphic design of a tiger. So let's get started. The products we'll use in today's episode are gel polish in Mr. White and Self Me, Art Brillante gels in Caramel Cake, Mocha and Black Poison, and Tip Top and Super Matte Top Coats. We will also need the following tools, Master Nail Art Brushes 007 and 006, 180 to 200 buffer, the Nail Art Palette, and Wipe Off Cleaner. At first glance, it may seem that these are very complicated designs, but you'll see in just a minute in our tutorial that they are in fact simple and quick to do. You want to know what the secret is? As always, it's choosing the right products. For this type of styling, you'll need a densely pigmented gel and a very precise brush. Without them, you won't be able to achieve a thin line, which is essential in this design. We put a drop of Art Brillante in Caramel Cake, Mocha and Black Poison onto the Nail Art Palette. We add a drop of Mr. White Gel Polish and two drops of Tip Top. We mix some Mocha and Black Poison into the Tip Top drops to create transparent hues. We use only a tiny bit of each colour as the gels are very highly pigmented. We then create a lighter shade mixing caramel cake with a little Mr. White polish. Every time we reach for a new colour blend, we need to clean our brush. It's a really important rule which should not be broken, so no shortcuts here. Now, how do we clean it? We take the brush and wipe it against a dry pad, removing any residue of the previously used colour or you can dip the brush in a translucent base coat, stir it and sort of press it into the base coat and then wipe it off on a dry pad. This will allow you to get rid of any color lodged deeper in the bristles. If, for example, you do your makeup and go for a nude ombre on the eye, you want to blend all the eyeshadows well, so you're not going to bother cleaning your brush in between colors. Sometimes it's even better if some previous shadow is left on the brush as it helps with the blending. This does not work with nail art at all. Each time you use a dirty brush, it will show making your design less clean and less cool. We cover the index fingernail with Mr. White Gel Polish. We should spread the first layer very well across the whole nail working without applying any pressure so that the surface remains even. The second layer will allow us to add pigmentation and reach with a thin brush up to the cuticle. We cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. We use a pad soaked in wipe-off cleaner to remove the sticky layer and then mat the whole surface with a 100 to 220 grip buffer. We dip our Master Nail Art Brush 007 in Art Brillante Black Poison and make a line along the left side of the nail. We then make it thicker and even so that each section is a similar width. We cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. If you want to achieve a slightly thicker line, you should choose a brush that has slightly more bristles and of course use a little more product. For example, using the Master Nail Art 007 brush, which has 12 mm long bristles, you can achieve a thicker line by applying the product with a brush placed flat against the surface of the nail. Then using one long stroke, pull the brush off the nail, creating a proper line. On the other hand, if you want to achieve an ultra thin line, you'd use a lot less product and work using only the tip of the brush, delicately stroking the surface of the nail. If you don't know what effect you'll get with particular brushes, I do highly recommend watching our video, How to Choose Brushes, and while you're at it, also how to create geometric patterns. Using a pencil, we sketch an outline of our tiger to know where to fill it in with color. Using the Master Nail Art Brush 006, we pick up a large amount of the light and caramel cake gel and fill in the whole outline, evening out the contours. We can go ahead and paint over our pencil outlines too, then cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. On the Nail Art Palette, we mix mocha with a little bit of Mr. White to create a light brown hue. We use it to mark the nose and the eye. We cure in the lamp for 10 to 15 seconds. Using our Master Nail Art 006 brush dipped in black poison to create the contours of the tiger, we outline the nose, adding in nostrils and mark its muzzle. Then we delicately darken the area below the nose. 
you can cure each stage of the design slightly in the lamp for 10 to 15 seconds to ensure nothing smudges while you work on the next element. The overall design will take a little bit longer to complete as you'll need to take 10 to 15 second breaks, but it is a lot safer and you will avoid damaging what's already been nicely done. We add ornamental elements above the nose from the forehead down. We intertwine them for a more interesting look. Then we make a line from the eye to the nose to sharpen the expression. We circle around the eye and add various crossing elements to highlight the design even more. We add some whiskers and cure in the lamp for 10 to 15 seconds. We create a round pupil peeking from underneath the eyelid and since our brush is already dipped in black gel, we use it to create lines outside of the tiger outline to highlight the graphic nature of our design. We add a considerable amount of them to fill the empty space around the drawing, then cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. Using white polish, we add a twinkle in the tiger's eye. It will make our design look more alive. You should never paint the twinkle exactly in the middle. Whether it's a tiger, a doe, an animal, or a human, it doesn't matter. Always place it in the outer part of the pupil. Now it's time to paint the shadows. Using the diluted mocha shade, we highlight some elements to give our design a 3D look. We cure it in the lamp for 10 to 15 seconds. Then, using the transparent black color, we add shadows to the black lines, including the vertical one, and cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. We then secure the whole design with super matte top coat, and again, cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. As the design uses neutral tones, we are free to choose any color for the remaining nails. Every color will match our tiger perfectly, and if you're a fan of super gloss, you can even use the Robin Mermaid effect. It will look really awesome, I promise. We chose the Self Me Gel Polish. We cover the remaining nails in two layers of the gel, curing each in the lamp for 30 seconds. We secure it with super matte top coat, and again, cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. And we've got this. This is what the graphic tiger styling looks like in all its glory. This finishes our episode for today. Let us know in your comments below if you're a fan of geometric animals. If so, what animal designs should we present on our channel next? Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye.